This is Azgur Demirtas. I'm a professor of finance. I lived in the US for about 15 years where I did my PhD and I was also a finance professor as well. And then I moved back to my home country, Turkey, for about 10 years ago. Right now I'm a chair professor of finance, but that's not my only role. I also uh, am a consultant for various companies, not only in the finance sector, but also in the real sector. And on top of that, I established a center of excellence in finance within the university. And uh, I am also a board member of one of the largest private banks in Turkey. And uh, I do these keynote speeches as well. But what are the topics that I specialize on? What are the things that I love to talk about? Let's see them now. Approximately 2000 years ago, Roman Empire was fighting with huge inflation. By year 2095, the Roman Empire was about to collapse because food prices was out of control. The same thing happened in the United States around 1980s. Of course, it was much less serious than what happened 2000 years ago. But in both scenarios, we didn't have anything called Bitcoin. And of course, the only thing that the Romans could do was to increase the amount of silver in their basically currency. But after 2008 crisis, guess what happened? Federal Reserve of the United States started printing unbelievable amount of money and they never stopped. This may help, this may seem to help basically people who are in need of money, but indeed it only helped people at the top of the food chain. And right at that time, there was a need for a different type of money. And Bitcoin was exactly that. Supply was fixed and actually there was no owner of that money. And we know that somebody one day will not wake up and decide to print more of that money. And of course, the inflation was under control. But then we have seen some difficulties about these digital currencies. What's going to happen next? In most of my speeches around blockchain, first, I talk about blockchain itself. Why is it an evolution and a revolution? I have specific you know, keynote speeches regarding Bitcoin, regarding cryptocurrencies, regarding fintech, and regarding DeFi, decentralized finance. In every one of them, I start by defining what blockchain is. Why do we need it? How will it change the financial sector and the real sector? What should companies do in both sectors in order to protect themselves and in order to use this new technology, this revolution, to be a better version of themselves? That's the things that I talk about. And then I talk about decentralized finance. What is DeFi? DeFi is basically, think about banks, think about insurance companies, think about exchanges in the physical life that we live in. And think about the fact that they can be squeezed into a piece of code. And if we can do that, think about that. Those banks do not need those huge buildings. They are not going to need, they are not going to be in need of, you know, those multiple workers. And they're not going to be in need of electricity or, you know, water costs or stuff like that. So their cost base will be lower. And of course, when that happens, they're going to be more efficient. DeFi is exactly that. Banks, insurance companies and exchanges squeeze into a tiny code and here we are. It's more transparent, it's faster, it's more secure. But of course there are problems surrounding KYC, know your customer applications. But that will happen as well, that will be corrected as well. So it is a revolution and it is the future and banks know it. Financial sector need to evaluate the risks and the opportunities regarding the DeFi. And basically the real sector needs to do the same. And in my keynote speeches, not only I talk about why blockchain itself is a revolution, but I dive deeper and I talk about DeFi, I talk about metaverse, and I talk about fintech applications which can be used on a blockchain, on a specific L1 layer blockchain.